Six Street Crypto, coming to you from Six Street in Austin, Texas. Cryptocurrency update. So, is everybody done diddling around talking about a correction? No. Because we're at the part of the cycle where spot hodlers do better than traders. You know, respectfully, all the traders are waiting for a dip. Everybody who missed the rally is waiting for a dip. And when everyone is waiting for a dip, you don't get one. That's because there's no seller in the market to push it down. Everyone likes it tidy. That's what a trader who I used to work for in the 90s used to say. Everybody wants it to go down so we can all genuflect and buy and it go up. No. It's not working that way. What we are doing is the market is in a stage of rolling breakouts. Okay? Today was AI. Actually, crypto and AI has been breaking out for about three days. Naturally, if you join the premium group for a whopping $15 a month, you can find out which coins uh, I'm interested in in Patreon. Right? Also, additional layer ones. Right? Any layer ones running on Bitcoin, ordinals. Okay? Also, metaverse is next, right? Like AI is going to go and go and go and go. And then metaverse is going to be back. I mean, metaverse coins, the one I featured in the premium group is down 95% and has the mark bottoming signals everywhere. In other words, it's almost like you could take a dartboard, throw it at a chart, or throw it at a watch list on trading view pull up the chart and find something interesting because again a lot of these coins have not broken out yet matter of fact they haven't done anything and again if you go back to things like bitcoin or ethereum people think they're up a lot are they what's the new definition of up a lot well I have a feeling we're going to find out in the first week of December. Because if you're sitting around waiting for a dip, you may wait a while. In other words, the only way to see 33K in Bitcoin is to see 43K first. There's not a lot of people talking like that, right? There's not a lot of people going like full Momo bullish because, you know, it, it has been straight up. Now, let's talk about that. Because one of the worst things you can do in crypto is pull retail in at a top, right? Because it's an organic and very natural and positive reaction of retail to want to join in on something hopeful. So I, I get people's general hesitation, you know, about FOMOing in at the top or what looks like a top. But to me, it's not a top, right? It's the beginning of a trend. Now, it looks vertical when you look at the picture, which is why I did this silly YouTube video called Throw Out the Charts, because crypto is completely mispriced. Like the AI part of crypto is ridiculously mispriced, especially if you compare it to like the market cap of NVIDIA. You know, the Sam Altman saga should let you know that we need decentralized AI. But I digress. The trend has looked vertical because crypto is just too cheap. Too cheap, 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 cheap. Too cheap. And it just sort of is in the beginning of revaluing and repricing itself. Because the whole party has been in equities, but the real lasting party is going to be in crypto. So, Patreon group, three altcoins today, Trying to keep up that pace all during the week. Plus, DGEN portfolios and large cap portfolios are coming soon. And, and, when Grok, Musk's AI system comes out, you know, the GAN analysis train will be leaving the station once again. It was very into, you know, GAN-related work. But I didn't realize that the data that, say, OpenAI or Bing was using was inaccurate. I'm kind of hoping Grok does one better. 
So again, more, 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 more. Join, join, join.